What the heck? Why my shit riding like that? Oh man. What is wrong with this thing? Right. It's like it ain't got no pressure. What the heck? You know you want to shit? Oh my god. What am I gonna do? Oh my god, I think I got low oil pressure. Oh man. What can I do to fix that? I wish I could make this truck bigger. So I can get into that engine. Dude, my fingers are too small. Let me see. I can't. What am I going to do with this? I need tweezers. Alakazam. Alakabang. Whoa. I didn't want it this big. Wow, look at them tires. Oh, man. Oh, now that it's big, I could take you to a real car wash. But let's take care of this low oil pressure first. Okay, so we are working on an 03, 5.3 liter Silverado. We are doing an oil pan gasket. And we have done all the bolts on the oil pan. All the bolts that are vertical, they go up, obviously. Yep. Um, there's about 15 of them, something like that. Something like that. Uh, Took but the, the reason we're member. doing our quick little videos is just to show that if you simply remove the cross member, and that's it, you'll have access. We did not drop anything with suspension or drive components or nothing like that. And now he is, we're getting ready to drop the pan off the flywheel here. Okay. Pry it with, um... There is one tip that we could give you that there was a plastic sheet right here. There's a little guard. And there's a bolt in the corner, in the upper right corner here. Excuse me. So there's a little piece of plastic here. We had to remove that plastic in order to access that final bolt in the corner. Mm -hmm. Pro tip. Pro tip. And I'm not a pro. <laughs> nope. We are YouTube certified. <laughs> YouTube certified. This is a Keys and LB out of Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. And now I'm trying to. Pry it a little bit to get it to come down. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, prying it would be normal since this is a 03. It's no way it's just gonna drop no, off. No way. And use the hole from the. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so the way it's moving, it looks like we are missing maybe one or two bolts. It looks like it's still being held up a little bit because she is moving. All right, let me spin around and check. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure I don't know. Light. I'm gonna put my gloves back on. Okay. We'll be right back. Guess what? He is right. <laughs> and like we did check right now, we we took a quick break to to do some double checking to make sure we didn't we didn't leave any bolts in. We did find one or two. Uh, that keys is gonna remove. Okay. That's, that's also a pro tip. If you start wedging something in there to get it down and it's moving, it's moving from the flywheel, however, it's not coming down, then that tells you that you did not get all your bolts out. So stop prying, stop trying to get it off and uh, grab your light and, and make sure you look real clear. See if you missed anything. Yeah, there's only one. Again, there's like 15 bolts all the way around the pan. Yeah, that's the only one. Yep, the only one. Okay. Oh, no two. All right. The one, see. The one by the. Uh, there we go. By the little bracket. I took the bracket off, but I think it bought out. Okay. It should drop right after that one. There it is. Okay, so we'll come back. Now. We're gonna do it now. It's actually moving. I see it. It's moving physically as he's unscrewing this one. And uh, maybe after they all come out, then yeah, she probably will drop. I mean, gravity is there to help you with uh, coming off on. Oh no. Keep all your bolts together. Bottom of your bolt, the bottom of your 
inches. These bolts are 10 inch. I mean, uh, there she uh, goes. She's like wiggling. 10 millimeter socket. 10 millimeter socket. Yeah, for the uh, bolts around the uh, oil pan. All the bolts yeah. around the oil pan are 10 Don't millimeter. Don't be like me because I ain't got no glasses on. Yeah, please wear safety goggles. This yeah. is the exact place where you can get schmutz in your eye yeah. and it could be really, really bad. Like, yeah. don't, do not take that for granted. A little piece of something, debris in your eye could ruin your whole day oh. and, and possibly your, your eyesight for life. So really wear eye protection. Look at that. Wear your gloves if it's hot. See that? It's coming down. Uh -huh. Right. We're gonna take another look here. We'll be right back. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we finally got the oil pan out. Off, off and out. Um, I had to cut the camera off because it was a lot. Basically, a lot to do. We had to we had to take the um, cross member off. Yes. And the um drive axle. No, nah, this is a bracket pinion. Oh, uh, excuse me, racket pinion. Um, nice. And the racket pinion, yep. the two bolts for racket pinion. I had to take. Take them out, push them back a little bit so it can drop, or it's not going to clear. It's not going to come out at all. Great explanation. Yeah. Great yeah. explanation. So exactly. My little pressure. Look at this. Check this out. Yeah. Look at that. That is. And this this O ring is is toast. Yeah, toast. It's that, square. What it's we are flat. doing. What he was experiencing. So everybody has a background. Was he would uh, be able to drive for a little bit, and once the car gets, or once the truck gets the operating temperature, the oil pressure was dropping, dropping. on it. And of course, you do not want to drive your motor or any kind of engine with any oil, with no oil pressure. That so, is not good. I, it's a green one in here, but the one that goes to this truck is a red one. I mean, mm. an orange one for some reason. I don't know why it's a green one. I, I don't know Man, who did this before. Deal. I know this engine was rebuilt before. Oh, okay. That might have been replaced might once. Be replaced, yeah. No so, big deal. So that's what we're doing, replacing this ring. And yep. about to assemble it back up. Yep. And everything good. All right, let's check the um, let's go over there to the what's the name real quick. Okay, to the uh, oil pan. I want to check it. All right, See we're gonna check the oil pan. We'll be right back. No. Okay, so now we're looking at the oil pan, y'all. Make sure there ain't no yep. metal pieces yep. and stuff in it. What you're doing when you go through here is exactly that looking for metal, flakes, shiny blood, stuff. That's get all this stuff out. Yeah, you want to get this out. Clean all that. Uh, degreaser. Um, I love sea foam. Uh, there's tons of stuff that you can get uh, for very low price, uh, you know, out of zone, whatever. Uh, Harbor Freight, don't forget Harbor Freight carries a lot of good cleaning supplies too. And uh, these are rivets right here. And this is, tells you that this has never been changed. So that rivet, excuse me, that rivet there, and there's another one. And this rivet here tells you that this gasket has never been changed. Uh, when it comes from the factory, they are riveted in. Yep. So you have to drill that out. I believe that was an eight mil, uh, eight mil um, drill bit. Okay. I believe. Don't quote me on that. You might want to do a little research, but it's obviously very, very small. And uh, you know, we'll clean this up and come back. Yeah. Make sure you clean your screen out. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Screen too. Yeah. Make sure everything. Again, sea foam is fine. You get a bucket of sea foam, swish it in there, good, and. Um, uh, don't try not to use compressed air. Just use a, um, cause that will tear the screen. And now you're in a whole other world of trouble. And this whole setup here right, right. is about a hundred and something dollars <laughs> for just that. It's not worth it if you mess up that screen. So don't do not use a high pressure air to to dry it out or anything. Just let it air dry. That's cool. That's good. That's a good pro tip. Um, make sure you look in there. Just clean everything out real good before we put everything back together, and we will come back. Uh, okay. Um, this is the end result of the um, low oil pressure on a 2003 Silverado. You hear this thing purring and everything. I had it running for about 15 minutes now, and when I first started it, the oil pressure went up to like 43, 42, 43. It was just running for like 15. 20 minutes now and the oil pressure sits at 39 like 39 so before i did the the oil ring the oil pressure dropped down to zero and it was uh like 15 20 minutes like 10 minutes of it stand started it had dropped down to like zero so the uh, 
overpressure ring is, is a big deal in this truck. Thanks for watching. Now that that's fixed, let's see now. Oh my God, oh my goodness. Oil pressure fix in the 2003 Silverado Sobs. As you can see, I'll pick up and turn.